Hello there, welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Torno edition, the last episode we fought Malos and no, almost died, but we didn't die. Obvious palace guard, Clemens. I like mate. Lord Adam, to think the Torn and Seal would fall into the edges of his hands, he's even scarier than I thought. I was no match for someone that evil. There's no way I could have stopped him attacking the city, but I still regret it to my dying day. Oh, I'm sorry, I must have come to report to the king, now I've held you up my chatter. I won't hold you up any longer. What good was your militia? They could not halt Malos. Nor even safeguard the seal from his clutches. I have no excuses. Adam. Hm. Majesty, this is a deep dishonor. I beseech you to lay them low, that the people may have faith in government. Majesty! Brother, your advice is wise. Your Majesty. Please, wait a moment. Adam only sought to protect your realm. Silence! Is your voice more important than the King's? But what of you, Zeta? What of me? Look first to yourself, I bid you. W what do you mean? Surely. Adam sailed the ship into a rocky reef. But if he were the bow, you were the stern. Y your Majesty, those are bitter words. It was Adam's vanguard that let slip Malos. Would our army have succeeded with certainty, brother? In the hour of need, where were they? W we set the defense of the people as our highest goal, your Majesty. Our soldiers guided the townsfolk to safety. While Adam's militia flew, though rashly, into the breach, and the brave dragoons of noble Hugo wagered their lives as mere trifles for our nation's sake. But, but I... It unfolded thus. If honor took its natural course, the sons of Torna should have stood their ground. <sighs> Mark their honor above their frailty. You saw the battle with your own eyes, did you not, my brother? I... I did. And how did you think it? Words can scarcely describe it. It was unlike any mere human struggle. I fear I could not report it justly. Indeed, brother. Hmm? It was a fight beyond our ken. I, too, saw it with my own eyes. Our torn and crafts of war would have been doubly doomed against Malos. That's... Is it not folly to assume that our army could do what Adams could not? Your Majesty. Uh... Noble Hugo, my brother forgets grace and gratitude. Our nation hangs over doom like a ripened fruit. You and yours are our final ray of hope. Will you offer us aid again to avenge ourselves on the Aegis? We came with that very intention, Your Majesty. Didn't we, Prince Adam? Yes. Majesty, if it must be so, I will expend my life for the future of the land of my forefathers. While we're here, your name is Laura, is it not? Uh, me? Y yes. Your work impressed me deeply. No, I... Yet you are no knight, bear no peerage. Yes. I'm from a settlement in the distant borderlands. I serve with a mercenary band. I knew you for a while. Good Laura, I would like to recognize your valiant labors. The title of Knight of the Realm, it is yours, if you would accept it. Me? A knight? Laura, my congratulations! I can hardly believe it. Me? Come now. A title is a mere decoration. Surely you learned that from me. 
I hope it will raise your spirits a little, Laura. Humble Laura, I have a request I must make of you. This day, the people of our nation shiver in the darkest of shadows cast by mighty Manos. But I bid that you seed a flower of hope in this shadow-mired land. I hope that I can. Your Majesty, I'll do my best. Well spoken, brave Laura. We shall anoint thee as Lady Laura tomorrow in the plaza before the palace. Come on, we shouldn't keep our old friend waiting any longer. Time for us to make a move. The torn room, he said. So is that going to be inside the Titan's belly? You'll know soon enough. This isn't the time for games, you know. You would have to be a cavity of considerable size for Zerda to fit inside. It would. We should head to the front entrance. At turn left, that way we'll come to a back gate. If we head down past there, it should take us to the room's entrance. Okay, we better catch up to Zerda then. You can now gain community from people with yellow icons above their head just by talking to them. You don't have to complete a quest. If you see the same icon next to someone's face in the community menu, you can select them and press Y to add their location to the compass. Ah. Oh. That's what it was. You were powerless before the Aegis. Because of that, the torn seal fell into his hands. Onyx should have been out scouting potential soldiers. But it's not like other normal people aren't gonna be a ma uh, are going to be a match for the Aegis. Well, we weren't. We're going to increase the number of our blades to join forces to oppose him. So now I can scout people out in this situation. I can just talk to people and get their approval. Fucking hell. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's let's go around and do some things, I suppose. Alright, mate. Good Travis, can I ask you something? I'm not sure if you noticed, but the lantern at the side of the gate has gone out. Doesn't that bother you? It does bother me. Right? Like, what's the point of it even being there? I'm be able to get it repaired, actually, so I must put some on at the area, but I can't afford to leave my station, not even for a second. As for the guy next to me, well, he's my brother, but for reason I prefer not to go into it, I'd rather not ask him. You can talk to him if you want, you'll soon understand. In any case, I've got to do my duty and keep watch over this place. I'm stuck at my post, lantern's out of reach. Probably guess where this is going. Think you could lighten my life a little? Lighten the way. Get on top. I wonder if I can get up this way. Rather than need to go all the way up. Just thinking I might be able to like sneakily get up. It's looking like a no, but we, we can try. I think that might be possible if I get a bit of a better run up. But I'm not going to move back too much. I know it's a, a definitely a way to get there, so. These huge hulking things from before were beauties. They move so smoothly, you think they're living things, they're not machines at all. Ha <laughs> ha, high quality indeed, such weight, such presence. Wonder could have crafted perfection as still. Both the quality and quantity seem to exceed the abilities of immortals. A puzzle indeed, a divine power, much like the energy power of the ages. Ha <laughs> He's talking to him about himself, of course. Uh, loads of people have got interesting things to say, I'm sure, but I don't talk to absolutely everyone in RPGs. If I'd never spoken to them before, then I tend to. But, unless I know for certain there's going to be something to talk about, or they're going to be having some massively int intriguing, interesting conversation with me. I need <coughs> to get to the other side, I need to go over here.
far as I know, there's no fast way around. Just a lot. There's something else to do here. Oh, some green bells. You're coming with me, treasure. The suspense is killing me. You're coming with me, treasure. Sneaky, sneaky. The lantern was here the whole time. But I guess I did actually need to go over here, so it's okay, but... But... This can't be an actual quest. There's gotta be more to it than this. It seems. This is becoming quite magical about travelling beneath the stars. Yeah, so I've gotta walk around the whole town to get around the other side, but I can go out the back gate and probably get there. Alright, mate. So the whole thing wasn't like really brightened up my day. That takes care of that. That takes care of that matter then, which brings me to the next one. See, there's actually a bunch of lands that broke down around the capital. Happened to notice them while I was on patrol, and it really bugged me. As usual, my brother returned a blind eye to the problem. See, being the modern citizen that I am, I thought I'd take the initiative and fix them all myself. Except I haven't been able to yet. Not since I've been lumbered with guard duty. I reckon there are about four in total: one in four my shopping ward, one in Fabry Industry Ward, one in Oresco Residential Ward, and the last one was in Orn Men's Storage Ward. So if you get it around, fix those four. That'd be a huge help for me and for the people. Right, I'm going to take all these quests so they don't appear as blue diamonds in my list of things I need to do. <laughs> Mimir, do not suppose any chance of friends are mighty heroic warriors. Mimir is in charge of shopping wards, so a good judge of character become kind of second nature. Yes, it's clear as cloud of sky now. Friends just for the heroes Mimir is searching for. Terrible thing, goggles start taking up residence in Pilgrim's Springland Panel. Oh, the racist knows more place for resty rest. Make the usual cargo route many much times longer. And one thing now very clear, Momo and now on verge of financial meltdown. Friends have no idea how dire straits are for Momo. So dire, deeply dire, Momo drown pillow in tears at night. Momo want friends to chase nuisance goggles out of Oasis, will drown friends in thank yous if success. Momo and her hero friends will succeed anyway if written in script of life. We never turn a blind eye to people in need. An Oasis for all. And we added Muamo, the trader chairman, to my group. Seeing dark, dark monsters destroying everything made Popolo super sad. Shopping ward like Popolo's home, then everyone in Shopping ward Valley to help. And that place get back almost normal to normal, Popolo getting back to old stuff too. I'm still worried about boss. Trouble cause, cause fur all everybody to shed. Boss bold before too long. Might quite like to see boss like that. Might actually suit him. Sorry, got carried away there. Next time Popolo's turn to work hard, must do best to protect Shopping ward and boss's fur. I thought I hadn't spoken to him, so that's why I came and spoke to him. Tico. Hmm, what do I do? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to mumble infinite Christmas. I was miles away. I've got this friend you see, and lately he's been, I don't know, distant, absent minded, just a bit weird, I guess. He's still eating his favourite fish dishes, so I know something's up, but he won't talk to me about it. But maybe maybe you can get through to him. Would you do that for me? His name's Joey, and you can find him in to the Armu. Sorry to bother you with a little thing like that. I hope it's nothing at all. Anyway, thanks so much. Armu's gone astray. We cannot turn them away. Tico. Well, I'll curse the edges going around and messing everything up when I was younger. Take them down a peg. I'm not just talking about wrecking the city either. Blades set against humans' hands are very culture. Of course, not all turns are on board with the idea of Kozik's doing blades, you know. There's, there's another lot. What do they call themselves? Oh, yes, that's right. The Counter Adamites. They got some funny ideas. In any case, I'm not letting this country fall apart without a fight. It's my home and I love it. You bastards. Om nom. Still hungry, they're not so big portions here. May you want an Omnom for something? Omnom in the middle of me now, I'll help later. Wait, hold thought of Omnom. Friends not have to have food? This place make Omnom angry, you never feel full after eating. If friends have food, please share some with Omnom, pretty please. 
I'm not happy to be one of the best gourmets I'll have all up on. I'm not refuse all food unless it makes mouth run like water. Hoping friends can help satisfy appetite. Hungry for more. We shall handle it. I'm not white, what kind of food do you have for me? Right. What are you interested in? There you go. Ah, full, full up now. Great thankings. I'm gonna feel just like I eat more. The stomach size is just possible. But that's surely just imagination. Now for dessert. Even phoning up on like I'm gonna have room for dessert. Looking forward to bringing you a dessert will be very tasty. I'm gonna love dessert. In fact, I'm gonna love salt and salty. Sweet and salty. I don't have. I just need to make some basic puddings. Not to worry, still room left in Omnon's seventh belly. Not full yet. Especially silver sparkly candy. Omnon can't forget rich smell and exquisite taste. Hi. Right. When I first heard that Foutley had been attacked, my first thought was that it had nothing to do with me. It really struck me how heartless you can be, you know? I was just happy it wasn't my home getting wrecked, but I'm different now. I'm not going to be thoughtless like that anymore. Speaking of which, my thoughtless sofa for husband went out fishing again and hasn't come home. Ugh. When he comes home this time, you have some such a talking to. The little shit. I've never seen the capital in this kind of state before. Some guy's been following me around a lot too lately, which is the last thing I need right now. He even keeps coming to the shop, I think he's trying to perform or something. I wish he'd go away. He seems happy when I'm ever rude to him or even give him the silent treatment. What was that about? I hope he doesn't seem like a, I guess he doesn't seem like a bad person at least. I'm sure I just want him to leave me alone. I'm not much of a people person, I don't like being pestered. How can I get him to understand that? Well, just use words. Just say, oi, dickhead. Fuck off. Geo. Hey lot, I hope you don't mind me asking, but are you the ones who go around the place helping people in need? Well, I wouldn't exactly go that far, but we do what we can, I suppose. Good enough for me. Name's Geo, and they look a handyman. Listen, since you're here, can I ask you a really huge favour? It's better be worth our time. Well, I won't lie to you, it won't be straightforward. Troubles of the heart never are. Troubles of the heart? Your troubles, I presume? No, no, it's to do with a pal of mine, actually. We share a table sometimes down at the local. He wants to send a custom-made gift to this lady who's caught his eye, but it's not really my area of expertise. On top of that, one of the key materials he needs is a rare one you can only gather at night. I think I know the stuff. Isn't that a uh, pure stone? Hey, you know, sure know your geology. You can only get a hang hangnail crossing, and it's used to make sweet nothings. I think we should help them. It's a wonderful thing to be able to help love blossom. I guess we can just help out. Besides, I just feel weird to ignore it now. Be honest, Smith, you want to see how this romance pans out, don't you? Don't put words in my mouth, Bridget. Alright, I think you've got those just a bit. Here's everything you need for the job. All that's left is to get the pure stone and turn it into something gift-worthy. And uh, I hardly need to tell you this, but it wasn't me who came up with sweet nothings, alright? Sweet nothings indeed, yet who says the woman is even aware of this man's affection? It's kind of putting the cart before the horse, isn't it? Anyway, let's give this a shot, shall we? We cannot turn them away. Off merchant OBB. Meh, no customers, nothing to do. Meh, meh, welcome to OBB's textiles. Oh, friends, not customers? OBB have no time for window shoppers. Please to scram. What do you mean I'm not look busy? It's not a friend's business. But friends make a valid observation, huh? Nobody come to check out where's OBB. Patients coming end of rope. Not sure why, not even other Nopons seem to keep distance. Oh, but even other Nopons seem to keep distance. Maybe time to pack up shop. If only there were a way to make raking buckets of gold in one fell swoop. Meh meh, Obibi has it. Obibi recently saw Nopon Little Pond around town, never seen before. Little Pond travelling alone at a young age is only one possibility. Must be Little Pond of Alvis' hottest trade guild, named Voltis. But oh, great debt friends could ask Little Pond for big inspiration. Obibi wait right here, looking forward to the news of good news. Bolstering sales. We cannot turn them away. Another lad. Were they here before and I just didn't see them? Maybe I just didn't speak to them. Marcus. Alright, mate. Ah, oh, it's no use. It's never gonna work. Uh, look who it is. Hello again, friend. Oh, you guys. Marcus, wasn't it? You were looking a bit lost there. Need any help? Uh, oh, no, not really. You're not fooling anyone. You sound really upset just now. Don't have to pass it off as something unimportant. Indeed. Why don't tell us the problems, Marcus? You might even be able to do something about it. Hey, Adam. You're signaling those other people's business again. Quit it. Hey, Armith, though, you always pays to keep help out your fellow man. You never know when you might need help in return. That's a fair point, I guess, but still. So, Marcus, can you tell us what's on your mind? Uh, all right. 
So the other day, you, you lot helped me catch a load of bugs, yeah? I'm really grateful to you all, because you did an awesome job, but then I realised I'm kind of useless by myself. So all this time, I decided to have a go all on my own. I even made these blueprints for a bug-catching machine, but then... But then... I like tinkering with machines, so I never know the ins and... But I, so I know the ins and outs of them, but I never made one from scratch before. I bought everything according to plan, but there's no guarantee it'll work, and now I'm dead nervous about it. And that's what you were mumbling to yourself about, was it? Pretty much. I have to say, making a blueprint like that really is something. It's clear how much time you've invested in this endeavour. Are you know how to build stuff, mister? I haven't the faintest idea, haha. <laughs> what? Don't ask. Still, it's evident that you're really serious about this. It, it is. It's the fact that you're worried about its success is a sign of your determination. It's perfectly natural. You have a clear goal in mind and you'll do anything to achieve it, am I right? I can't see a more noble goal than that. Just give the word and we'll have you out. Have more faith in yourself, Marcus, and let's finish this thing together. That's so nice of you. Okay, then. I'm not giving up. I'll just keep trying until I get it working the way it's supposed to. So... This is the blueprint for the Bug Catcher Turbotron BGX 5000. The Bug Catcher Turbotron BGX 5000? What an inspired name. That's something I wish I had when I was a kid. Adam, will you just shut your trap for a moment? Not you. You keep going. Uh, right. Well, the machine itself's not quite finished yet. I'm still missing some parts. I'll probably need about three sunset brackets and a charge shaft. It'd be awesome if you guys could go pick those up for me. Sir, yes sir. We'll have those parts delivered to you on the double, sir. Boys and their toys. Being nice to kids is one thing, but this is going beyond a joke. We never turn a blind eye to people in need. I don't think I have everything for you yet. <laughs> Thanks guys, this should be enough to get the machine up and running. I'm this close to finishing it now. Let me go and attach the parts quickly, then I'll bring it straight over. Ta-da! Aha! So this is the fabled bug catcher Turbotron fight BGX 5000. Would you look at that? Now this, my friends, is a true work of art. So how's this thing even supposed to work? You better not be expected to lug it around town or anything. No, of course not. It just creates a smoke screen that insects get drawn to. You just have to take it to a place with a lot of bugs and let it run. They'll come straight to you. Bravo, Marcus. Lad, you are a legend. Thanks, but um, is it okay if I ask you guys for another favour? By the way, we've come this far together. We can hardly quit halfway through, can we? We're a team, remember? Yeah, thanks. Go on, then. What was it you wanted to ask? Right. You know where the Harad Hills are? Do we? They're near Feltley Village, as I recall. It's somewhere out from the capital, beyond Danai Desert. That's around the place where we first met, isn't it? Thing is, I'm looking for a specific type of bug, and I hear a lot of them fly around the Havard Hills. I was wondering if you could take my machine there and collect some for me. Absolutely, we'll do it. Don't you worry, the bug catcher Turbotron BGX 5000 will be safe with us. Yeah, alright, I really hope this works. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm um, this being my first ever veteran all, I really want to know if it works the way it's supposed to, so make sure you tell me all about it. Oh, you can be sure of it. In the name of Torna, I, Adam Arigo, will swear it will be done. I've got the bug catch Turbotron. Are there any other quests? I don't think there are any others that I didn't get. Oh, on the right hand side of town. But I haven't been there, so it's not relevant this second. I'm heading over there now. Hello. It's always hard to say goodbye to leaving another living being, especially if they go before their time, but it's possible to remember the time they lived. That doesn't go away just because it had to end. They're just in the teachings of Indol, which tell us all souls will be saved. So death may be hard, but it's not all about despair. There's salvation to be found, even in the worst of times. We just have to pray that we find our path to salvation sooner rather than later. Well, you guys are lucky. I mean, isn't it obvious why I'd have the good fortune to meet Moi here today? Have I got a present for you, lucky guys? Some info to take your eardrums with. Ever since... Right, this is... Uh, that's FF4, but it's just the background of my desktop. Have you seen any stone tablets strewn about Torna? Rumor has it that whoever collects all of them can have any wish they want granted, even bring back the dead. Perhaps if you've managed to collect them all, you'll end up with even more good luck. Well, I have no need of such things, what with being a pro adventurer all. Haha, <laughs> yes me. Haha. <laughs> Because of a big raid, lots of shortages of things everywhere. Big problem for lots of folks. So maybe we get Perithium Trade Guild to send over relief packages for no money. Maybe we just make it happen. Strangely generous act for Mimi, you say. Actually holding out some odd to Nidipon is family tradition for me. 
Mamimi. Now the fan says it is strange. Strange, strange tradition of family of Mamimi. But perhaps in future Mamimi is needy pawn and will get a Samad from a kindy pawn. Alright, Tyler. Sorry, but if you came here for fish, you'd be sorely disappointed. There's not a single one left around here. You saw it too, didn't you? Damn Aegis and his mucks ruined everything. They had these brilliant shining wings and the light they shot off somehow ended up killing all the fish. But I'm not giving, going to give up. I feel these little pails of my own fish. Little by little, I get the shoal going strong once again. You don't think you'll be able to help me, do you? You only have to bring me the fish you'd catch. I want to collect as many kinds of fish as possible. And that's a bit difficult to do by myself. I'd be glad of the help. The fish that could be. May I offer my assistance? Oh there, got any fish for me? I do. That's great, just enough to get me started. I'll get my trusty pals right away. I seem to be swimming around happily enough. Yes, indeed. Spirited enough to match the dauntless courage of Torn and Knights. The people of the capital will be most pleased. Ajay, what do you think about these fish? They seem grown enough to eat, by my assessment. If I make a beaver so, maybe so bold, may I suggest Capaccio? Not quite what I meant. Terrific. Well, then, I'll raise them carefully so they'll be the prettiest fish you've ever seen. Thank you ever so much. Okay, next up is the front moat. It used to be full of fish until the ages attacked the capital. The moat was teeming with life. I know you don't know me or anything, but I'm really counting on you to help. Will you catch some fish that we can use to restock the moat? It'd be such a lift to the atmosphere of the area, we could get the moat back to how it used to be. I really do hope you'd be able to help. Basically every... I'll be waiting for you to catch any fish. Basically every fish now. Um, well, every quest now is like multi-part. Oh wow, that's great. I can't believe you managed to get so many. Okay, just a moment. The moat will be back in... Oh, just a mo. The moat will be back in to normal in no time. I'll put a shark in there. They're beautiful. Ah, oh, what a sight. A typical tournament scene if ever there was one. It seems that there are some things the malice cannot destroy. That's the lesson we must take from this. That's right. We can't allow these small pleasures to be taken from us again. Seeing all the fish swimming, backly, swimming happily really brings the arrow back to life. No, that's not true at all. The only way we're bringing this place back to life is by pulling together and looking to the future. Still, I couldn't... I've got this far without your help. I'll take care of these little fellows, you have my word on that, and once again, thank you. It's nice to sometimes get a quest just done. Bing! You have our gratitude. If it wasn't for you, I'd not be able to watch the fish swimming like this. Thanks, I'll make sure the fish you gave me grow up as big and brave as you. Give me that quest. The fish that could be. Aren't you glad you asked us? Bony tongue casserole and try chip. Okay. So, what is a try chip and why is it good for me? Or is it not good for me? It might not be good. That's uh, alright. It's another one of those. It's basically good but not quite good in many ways. I just want one that's like a better version of what I've got now. So a better crit chip that gives me more damage and then a better block chip. It's hard, It's harder than you'd think to make it happen. Deku Deku, all right. May our friends have business with Deku Deku? Ah, indeed it's true. Deku Deku and Walkie Walkie Poong is a special rite of passage for Voltus Trade Guild. It's making only minor impression, me know. But please to realise Deku Deku carrying future Trade Guild on back. It's taking budding young aspiring merchant like self to generate strong cash flow. Meh meh. Friends take interest in Deku Deku and need to ask favour. It's a textile shop doing poor business and asking Deku Deku to invest. It's a very interesting proposal. It's a perfect opportunity to test financial to put financial skills to test, but not to expect results immediately. Deku Deku need time to draw a business plan. There's no easy road to success. Get rich quick scheme is pie and sky way of thinking, even if sound delicious. Okay, Deku could go ahead and have a talk with manager now. Fully understanding the situation is key to every successful business transaction. We'll consider options on the table and get back to friends when returned. Right, Joey. Huh? Yeah, I'm Jory. What's it to you? What? Tico sent you? Yeah, so nosy. I told already everything's okay. I'll find you. I really want to know who's doing my armors and run away. It's my own dumb fault. I thought I'd see if armors have a homing instinct. Spoiler warning, they don't. Not a single one of them got back. What a waste of time. Um, so if you see any armies running around out there, can you please bring them back here, please? I think you can probably find them easily enough by following their tracks. The names of the three lost armies are Yama, Aiji, and Washish. They should come when you call them, and don't try to like fight them or tip them over, okay? Cheers and all. Cheers, then. 
Hey there, did you miss us? We fixed your faulty lanterns. Remind me why we're the ones running around doing our jobs for this guy. Let's try to put things into perspective, Mythwits, for the good of the people. Great, thanks a bunch. I still off my mind. It would have been a while before I could get around to fixing those. Yo, Chelsea. Bro, what's up? If the lanterns were bothering you so much, why didn't you just ask me? I could have fixed them for you. Nah, I didn't want to have to rely on you this time. I've been relying on you most of my life ever since Mum went. Ah, <laughs> Chelsea, Tony, have you got a minute? Sarge. Sorry to barge in, but I've got another urgent news to tell you. Chelsea, Tony, you're promoted. Come join the squad. But why not? Huh? But what did I do? You went to fix those lanterns. None of the men in my regiment even took notice of them. Proof enough to show your dedication to bettering the lives of our citizens, something our squad's severely lacking. Uh, that may be so, but it wasn't actually me who repaired them. It was these kind travellers. That's so? Well then, travellers, how would you like a place in our ranks? Thanks, but no. Ah, <laughs> very blunt. We may have repaired the lanterns, but Chelsea Denis was here as the one who asked us to fix them. In all honesty, it's him you should be thanking. I couldn't agree more. The lad's more than talented enough to join my team. Uh, are you absolutely sure about this? Why do you prefer to stay on guard duty? Didn't you say once it was dull as a sack of grum rice? Come on, Chelsea, this is your big chance. You can't turn down an offer like this. Bro, you're doing it again. Sarge, I'm in. Just as long as you can give me a job I can really sink my teeth into. Well, there's no shortage of those, believe you me. That's more like it. Do us proud, bro. You can count on it. Thank you, all of you. Everything's been happening so fast, I never expected any of this. But just, uh, but just about owe oh, all of it to you. Thank you so much. You're going to be alright without you, brother. Totally, I've been trying to work up my way up the ladder for a while now. I don't even mind hand hand-holding me. Oh, I see. Well, if that's what you've decided... It is. Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Ah. I do only what is I'm glad to have gotten praise from the squadly Nornix, but truth be told, it's still hard getting acknowledged by the one person who matters. A boy. There. You're fixing all the unlit lanterns that led to Chelsea didn't get promoted by the squad leader. His days of guarding the gates of his brother are now over. I think everyone did really great in the defence of the city, but I don't know how much my opinion really counts. What I do know is that I don't know what would happen if you guys weren't here. Of course, I have to stay here, but I heard on the grapevine that Onyx's squad have to fix the place up afterwards. I think, I mean, it's by order of the king, but still it's a pretty nice thing of them to do. Usually they stand about around the palace, the big meatheads. So I wonder how Chelsea's getting on. He's doing well, but I'm trying to get be a bit more hands-off as a bro now. That's probably for the best. I, I Respecting your brother's space is a good idea. Right. Let's go the bug catcher. In the Havard Hills. It says Havard Hills straight there, so I guess this is fine. Whoosh. Even on familiar ground, this we is must becoming stay vigilant. I need more resources, so I might as well get them while I'm here. This is becoming a nature. You'd have to be this foolish to think you could kill me. <laughs> Only the most insane of individuals would dare even try. This is becoming addictive. What about the lad in the background? What have you got to say for yourself? Could fight you. The suspense is killing me. Very nice. Pop, 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 pop. This count as treasures for Bridget too, the so I want to do it. Is killing me. Aren't we intrepid? Do it. Do it good. Do it strong. Be proud. I don't think there's anything particularly great here, but... Just 
just doing this sort of stuff. Just it just gets me some resources, you know. All right then. This seems as good a spot as any. And on you go. Whoa, what is this? A smoke screen for attracting bugs. Weren't you listening? Ugh, I'm not sure I approve the smell. Well, what's with all the monsters? I suppose we can conclude that the smoke's more effective in attracting monsters than bugs. Oh, that's just great. Stupid piece of junk. More trouble than it's worth. Guys, we can learn about this later. It's kind of got more pressing matters here. I'm nearly 10 levels higher than them, and they're only little small speeders. So I can't imagine they're going to be that tough. Shackled, I should be switching over, but nah, we're good. So it didn't go as well as it could have done. Let's put it that way. But it wasn't a complete disaster. That was a nice change of pace. Let's catch our breath and move out. Hey, you're back. So how did it go? That's roughly what happened. I'm sorry we couldn't have been more help, lad. Nah, it's fine. It's not your fault anyways. It just proves my interventions need more work. It's just a prototype, but I guess it'll be a bit longer before I can make that medicine for her. Medicine? What now? Wait! Ever so sorry, but would you mind if I borrowed a moment of your time? Um, sure. I couldn't help but overhear the word invention, you see. Might we attribute this invention to your esteemed persons? Oh no, not us. The honour goes to this boy here. What's that? Is this stripling built it? Who's this geezer? An excellent question, my dear boy. It is I, the greatest inventor that Torn has ever known, a man known only as Gideon. Um, I wasn't asking you. Now it's entirely besides the point. Gideon is known as your talent, young man. Of that you should be thankful. He's not even listening. What is your name, boy? M Marcus, what about it? Marvellous. Well then, from this day forth, Marcus, I would like to take you under my wing. How about that, eh? What, you want to teach me stuff? Nah, thanks, I'm not interested. Good heavens, are you quite sure? Why, I can think of dozens of children who would jump at such a chance. Gus, go through the children then, I don't want to. Wait, let me step in for a moment here. Pardon? Marcus, look at it this way. Ultimately, you want to perfect your med machine, yes? Does it matter how you go about doing that? Isn't that what matters? Isn't what matters is that you succeed? Ah, I think it would be best for you to learn the skills you need from this man and then bring your goal to fruition. That is, if you feel you can tolerate his eccentric ramblings. But I think this is well within the bounds of your ability, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I get it already. So? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll give it a go. If this weirdo knows how to build stuff, he can teach me for all he's worth. He's not going to let the one stupid little failure get me down, nuh-uh. That's a good lad, if only everyone had your spirit. You sure about this? So it's pretty reckless getting him fired up like that. It'll be fine. You learned a valuable lesson today that failure praise the way to success. If you've risen up from the jaws of defeat once, you can survive in almost any environment after that. 
And that's not all. Oh? It also, it also reminded me of something I'd almost forgotten. That anyone, even if they believe in themselves enough, has the power to overcome any hardship. When you're an adult, it's easy to lose sight of that simple fact. Is that a lesson you had to learn? Maybe, maybe not. Meanie. Anyway, I think we're done here. Time we made a move. See you, Marcus. I'm sure we'll cross paths again. Yeah, bye bye Thanks for everything. I won't lie. It feels good. Everyone encouraged me so much. I feel a lot more confident now. I'm going to keep learning about insects and machines till I'm an expert in both. Good for you, buddy. How about next time you help yourselves? The adventure was a dud, but it did get Marcus noticed by an inventor named Gideon. It took someone convincing, but the boy's future is looking bright. Jin's level 5 now. I feel my power surging. Very cool. Succeed in a button challenge during a battle. But every time is other things. Make every item that Jin can craft. Meet characters from the community list. And then walk a lot. So I'm getting there. Nearly there, I maxed out on trust. And then we can just up, just go around and un unlock everyone's shit, really. Okay, so. Next community quest. Not, not community, I didn't actually mean that. I meant the quest log is what I meant. Duh. Bolstering sales. I forgot it was this far back. Alright. Take a look and not believe this. Wearing of clothes is an essential part of strategy. And what are they arguing about? Merchants selling textiles and birthday suit, and we never seen anything like it. But that's just OBB style, it's not just fashion decision, it's way of life. Uh, the customers from earlier. Good to see you again. Is everything alright? Sounds like you two are arguing. Oh yes, maybe friends can solve dispute. Friends kindly asked this little pawn from Voltage Trade Guild to assist a BB, yes? It's very wise, little pawn. Appreciate much of advice. But this is Deku Deku insists... No, but this Deku Deku insists that failure of sales lie in a BB's court because of clotheslessness and buff. It's very rude of Deku Deku to suggest. It may be rude, but only stating facts. A BB show me a finer way of wares. It does a product, nothing to fault, can see much effort was put into high, maintain high standard of quality. I think with small push could put out product that steal hearts of Nopon far and wide, could become a great hit, but before that happened, managed to book up some clothes on. Nopon who into fashion, also critical of clothing. If manager not self wear self not wearing anything, no reason to purchase from. Now hold on a moment, you've got a point to be sure, but let's take a step back and think through this carefully. Don't I don't want to tell you how to live your life, but you just wear what you want to wear. Not everyone can be as liberated as you, your highness. Guys, you're not helping. First of all, we should get down to deciding which product it is that we... It is that we want to put out. If you want to be popular, I would say it needs to be something trendy. What do you think? Perhaps. That said, I don't know the first thing about not on fashion trends. Same here, I'm just going out on a limb, really. So we're back to square one again, meh meh. Deku Deku, was it? Yes? You may need to come up to our ankles, but you're still a valued member of the Voltage Trade Guild, aren't you? They should know better than any of us what to sell like hotcakes. Aha, we can use the Trade Guild to gauge interest, I like it. Got a good head on your shoulders there, Minoth. Okay, friends, wait a minute, let Deku Deku have a think. Hmm. Hmm. Meme? Deku Deku, remember now, Nopon Hat's big hit recently in Voltus Power Branch. On top of that, not very much Nopon trade exists in Tawna yet. If a BB can corner market with the way of fine hats, it may be able to earn big time profit. Th that sounds like an incredible idea. A BB's textiles actually deal in hats before, so it can make no problem. And if working with hats, then customers are also not like so likely to have concerns about naked manager. Hope we'll be staying out of is proud of it. Good, if we all are on the same page, then it should start by making test product. Two styles for hats in vogue at moment is cute and casual. Cute style usually form a knitted hat, adding extra touch of sweetness to knock on noggin. Casual style would be capped with simple design, using single detail for focal point that draw the eye. That rough idea, anyway. Either style, sure fire hit with knock on. So to make initial hat offering, how much stuff in ballpark figure would we expect to need? Meh meh, BB have to think on that. Cute style and casual style. Okay, have general idea down pat. Blimey, that was fast. I mean, they're a race of entirely merchantile people. They're very, very good at doing merchant things. 
must be really good at her craft despite being naked. Going to list off materials needed for hat making, so please do a careful listen. First, for cute trim knit hat. We require four cotton branches, two sprigs of angel sage, and one sunflower rouge. Or, oh. yeah, rouge is spelled like that, isn't it? No. Rogue. Is R O G U E. Then, for casual trim cap, we need four coarse screw creepers, three panda pansies, and one heap of floral soil. These resources are only found in Torma and Gormart, so friends will have to search both places to get hands on. Then that concludes business here for now. All left is for friends to gather necessary materials. First thing first is produce hats and get business back on feet. Don't think I have everything yet. Friends pick up everything that we need for hat making. Oh, I have plenty. Knit hat with cute trim. Cap with casual trim. That very impressive feat, yes, should be more than enough. It's time to follow up please and get wings flapping. Ta-da! Please to introduce sample A and sample B. Now we'll have Little Pond to sample hats. We'd ask, like to ask friends to choose and see if hit with customers. Wait, you want us to choose? Are you sure about that? None of us are exactly skilled in commerce. Psh! Hit fine. Friends were ones who helped out in the first place. It only natural that you'd be ones to decide final sales product. Well, if you put it that way. Okay, we'd be happy to oblige. Then, first we start with a cute style knit hat. What do you think? Does it suit? Next comes casual cap. Yes, it's also brimming with style. Surely big hit with Nopon. Well then, friends. It's now up to you to make a final decision. I think the casual cap is better, personally. It's an excellent choice. The new product will be casual cap. Deku Deku will take a stroll around town now wearing hat, get opinion on street. Maybe we should get to work making as much hat as possible, ready to be selling. Memememe, popularity is through roof. Nopon almost climbing over each other to get a new product. I've never seen such a sight. It's, huge to make, it's sure to make huge profit from sales now. So many thanks to friends, have not enough thanks to give. Nah, yeah, it was no big deal. Baltus Trade Guild are a force to be reckoned with if a kid his age is keeping businesses afloat. Ha, you need see nothing yet, friends. Deku Deku not just keep business afloat, me intend to turn it into hottest store in Torna. Looking forward to it. You two can just make sure you get on with each other, okay? Oh, there's no problem there, just as long as the baby puts on some clothes first. Oh, please, put sock in it. Right then. A baby's business is alive and kicking, I can't see any reason to be hanging around any longer. Agreed. Lead the way, my good sir. But now is not shop in need of rescue, is over myself. Regain the community! And he's wearing the hat. Thanks to friends, shopping for BB is very successful. If friends have ever need of textiles of hats, please to stop by. You really shouldn't have. Deku Deku is walkie walkie pooing, which is going very well. Deku Deku wants to learn all about business and take learnings back to Voltage Trade Guild. Cool. Very good. Bolstering the sales. Glad we were able to help out. The hats of Bibi made with Deku Deku's help are taking the capital by storm. The pay of the shopkeeper's trouble are finally at an end. Okay, so we have. He's so close to level 5, but not there yet. Yeah. Nice. Look, I can't focus only on attacking. Power of light is... I can do ether, any ether thing in the game now. Gain community. I just have to get... Uh, more gain. 88. That seems like a lot. But yeah, I can open up any ether thing in the game now. So that's nice. And the others won't be too far away either. Okay, so next. We're side quest a machine at the minute. Can't do that because I haven't got anything else, but I can do helping the helper. That's another quest, isn't it? it was a nice change of pace. Yeah. Alright, mate. 
Say, have you met a soldier called Macneth by any chance? He's my subordinate, but he's gone AWOL. I swear, he's never struck me as the type to just leave. I thought he had more integrity than that. If you have any news, no matter how much trivial, could you let me know? No ships have left the harbour today, so I imagine he'll still be in Torn and maybe he left for the capital? Maybe he's just lost his way, at least. Let's hope so. Duplicity. We cannot turn them away. This is becoming addictive. Okay, so I think that um, yellow exclamation mark is telling me you can't actually go there yet. Don't worry about it, because you can't go there. That was quite the voyage. Right, where shall we head to next? Ah. I have keen eye, but I don't have enough lock picking. Failure paves the way to success. Um, what's wrong with Bridges' lock picking? I guess it's locked. No, I can do it. I just need to open more treasures. Okay. Boop. Vient Hodison. My lords and ladies, I'm sorry to trouble you, but I was wondering if you could help me with something. What with your majesty and Prince Adam out on campaign, it's been decided that I'll confer with a special envoy from Gormod. Given that our Ardanian Titan has been showing signs of decline, it's important that we act now. I plan to air my opinion on the future of both our countries. Our conference was to be aboard this flagship, and the envoy was to come from the White Chair in Gormod, but he has not arrived. To get here from the White Chair, it's necessary to pass through the Horry Wild, a dangerous place. We assume something happened to the envoy there. However, we do not have the military resources to mount a full search of the Horry Wild. Therefore, I thought I might burden you with this request. Please go to the Holy Will, then search for the Gormati Special Envoy. Sorry for the sudden request, but it, I would not trouble you had I any other option. The sweetest of tidings. We shall handle it. Yeah, all right. Guess the closest place is here. Just to open up the tree. They went up here. As soon as we get to level 5 everything, I can just focus on improving all their stats. But I feel like if we're getting to level 5 everything, we're fairly close to the end of the game. Uh, or the DLC, I suppose. Which makes sense, about 25 hours, 30 hours. It's very, very good for a DLC that was like 20 quid or something. It was... Good stuff. Doesn't seem so bad. Oh, <laughs> doesn't seem so bad. Um, game way, gameplay time wise. This is becoming addictive. Oh, so I mean, I, I guess I can see why I never came here. Sorry, I'm afraid we can't go easy. We have to stay Lots of here. danger. guys are pretty strong, but they're not, like, massively strong. They're doing a lot of, um, damage like that. They're not doing, like, a huge amount of damage that isn't to do with, uh, red. You know what I mean? Like, it's doing temporary damage rather than permanent damage. That's what the fights up here are like. This is definitely the same map as 
the original game, isn't it? Just Tomagoth is not really here. Tomagoth hasn't been rebuilt yet. He's only just been destroyed. I remember the Xenoblade 1 maps better than the Xenoblade 2 ones. That's only because I've played Xenoblade 1 more recently. my ability to get items. Give me the cue. Good man. It's got to be something fancy, naturally. Think of the possibilities. Naturally. Fancy or not, I follow just the same. Discover a landmark. Four more landmarks. The jail must be close. I can swap over now. Doodle doodle doodle. -doo. Nature. Wonderful. Oh, another chest. Sneaky, sneaky. Aren't we intrepid? Where? Skip it, dip it, dip it, dip it. The suspense is you. Here. You bitch. Structure to this lock. Oh, hard luck. can't do it. I need level three. I'll just pick more chests then. But I can't because they're all level three. This is becoming addictive. But. Mm. Oh. oh. The person up here? Ah, this is new. Zealous warrior Elba. So the, uh, hey, so the tournament camp was attacked. I hear the people there are safe. You thought it would be more going ho about it, did you? Thought I want a piece of the action? No. When I heard about the Aegis person, it took me to the bone. Me of all people. Please burn cities to the ground without a trace. Ugh. So you're going to be the people to protect the city and the people, aren't you? I have to say, I'm pretty jealous of your strength and bravery. Well, I won't be beaten. I just have to train even harder. We can have a chat. First time I've been able to chat in a while. Hey, Master Adam, why is this Torna's womb place? If you pass through the main gate of Oresco and head right, this back gate, do you know it? Beyond there lies the womb. Is it is waiting for us there? Yes. Nuncle is too far too big to be in this city without causing disturbance. Yeah, everyone would admire with that monster hanging around. Now, Moon, if you said that to Zedda's face, he'd probably burn you to a crisp with elemental fire. What? Ha <laughs> ha. Don't worry, Milton, he may look scary, but he's a soft old soul, really. Well, isn't that lucky for you, young man? Right, let's go see him then. If you said it to him, he'd probably fuck Let's you up. Down to business. <laughs> Don't spoil your appetite before I'm stitch by stitch. I need X tail. And careful now. Time to roll up the old sleeves. Time to get cooking. I'm kind of excited. Oh yeah, some puddings in each place. Yes, each one is just getting better and better. It's taking a little bit more resources for each one. But it's getting they're getting I'm stronger. A nervous, to tell you the truth. The jamming microphone. A 
content that comes from the heart. I will challenge myself today. I haven't got many pudding, uh, like desserts. Someone else is going to have to make desserts. I know it'll be worth the wait. I don't think you make desserts either. It came together nicely. Okay. We're actually here for something else at the moment. Aren't we intrepid? Ooh, that's a lot of scarlet coils and geometric gears and things. Like that. The suspense is killing me. You're coming with me, treasure. Aren't we intrepid? Uh, Hal Jacques. You've come at just the right time. I could use some skill adventurers like you. I'm Hal Jacques, now headed for the Adenian warship anchored at Lesham Cove. But I left the white chair in a hurry and forgot to bring any gifts. I sent my attendants out to get some Malosian honey, which is famed around these parts, but there's still nowhere to be seen. This is ruining. The forest is full of danger, so I couldn't go searching for them even if I wanted to. But now that you're here, if you think you could bring back my attendants who've gone to collect the Malosian honey, you'd be doing us a great service. Chilling. This is becoming addictive. This is becoming addictive. These could I get some chests? Before there's a big scary boss fight here. You. Absolute. Oh, okay, it's level two. Cool. Steel chip. But it's in a zone that's quite hard to get to, so they might be okay. They are not okay. I guess you could just sort of wander around and do this early, but. The garbage! Some honey, though. Quite easily, in this fact. Becoming addictive. The suspense is so the real heavy. shit is here. You fucker. It's three chests now, at least in Gormot, that I can have to remember where they are because I can't open them. What a bastard! Uh, help! Those must be the special envoy's attendants. Let's take them out, those skeeters, and rescue them. My thoughts exactly. Oh, my God. 
with an old. Nice. I believe I've gained a little skill. There we go. You saved our lives, thank you. Did you find the Malaysian honey that you sought? What what are you why are you asking? The special envoy sent us. Ah, uh, Malaysian honey is pretty valuable, and this is the only place in Gobat you can be gathered. The special envoy insisted we need to give some to the Idanians. I'd also be interested in finding out how delicious it is, but I value people's safety over anything else. Thank you for understanding. This youth seems far more capable of leadership than Mr. Jacques. We risk another mosquito attack if we remain here. You're right, let's head back to the special envoy. This is becoming addictive. Hail strike. This is becoming addictive. I know the drill. I think he's just in this zone. Aren't we there's more chance to get something good because it's a higher level area. So we have slightly different roles, slightly different loot tables. Aren't we intrepid? In terms of uh, geometric gears, this seems like a pretty good place to farm them up. Hello. Thank you for having my attendance. If we were without presence, there would be a diplomatic faux pas which could offend the Odenians to lead to war. Very well, we should depart soon. Now that I have all my attendants with me, you should arrive at Lesham Coves much quicker. Well, you better be off. Farewell. In fact, I can show you how fast it'll be. It's only geometric gears for quite a few things. You remember our destination, don't you? Aren't we intrepid? Sometimes I don't get any, but if I just walk back and forth here a couple of times, I should get some. You remember our destination, don't you? Aren't we intrepid? Go, nice. And if I get a few, then I can do some more things with them. Get some more gears, some items. Wonderful, splendid, magnificent. Familiar ground. We must stay vigilant. This is becoming addictive. And the Scarlet Coils are also useful because there's other things I've needed them for and didn't have them before. So, me just getting a bunch of them now isn't going to be a big Even problem. Ground, we must stay Aren't we intrepid? Some things never change and what hasn't changed is I still need the, the urge to finish a quest before I end the video is still very well strong. So I'm not going to finish until I finish off this bit. This is becoming Unless there's something else I need to do, but I don't think there is. There will be. No, let's do what. Let's keep going to the next time I see a geometric gear, and then I'll stop. Nice change of pace. Let's catch this up is becoming a and move out. There we go. I got one, so that'll do. I'm a man true to my word, so let's see what we can craft now. The chain of many hues. I am discovery rate goes up more. I'm a little and nervous to tell you the rock truth. hard plaster. More experience in fights. Apicium. We item drop collection range by 50 centimeters, half a meter. And that's fine. Wing booster is the next thing I'm interested in. So vibrant flammy rings. But now I know where to get geometric gears. If I ever need more, we can go get them. Let's see. What a I think I've done reasonably well. I think I've done reasonably. I think I've done reasonably well. 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 Allow me to demonstrate my skill. It's done. Does it suit your tastes? My cooking will make you howl for more. This one I'm quite proud of. I'll base it on that lap and... Fa, and... Fa. Okay. We're just doing a bunch of crafting to get everyone to do their own things. Yeah. 
I know everyone's one of each of the people's things is going to be make one of everything that people can make. Okay, cool. To the cove? Let's finish this off with a bang. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Right, where is the robber queen? Because she's a part of the community that I can just go get favour with immediately. So I should do this just because by talking to her I get favour. And it's something I can just get out of the way. See the ones who took Kelly and Kelly to their father and Torna? I know them, they're good kids. We led the refugee life together for only a short while but I came to care about them. It's a great relief to hear they were reunited with family, truly. Maybe it isn't my position to say, but thank you. I'm glad they won't have to live like this any longer. Also, this got me thinking. What if what if I could become a bit more like all of you? I'd like to get my life back on track, live for something, give something of myself and not just take? Well, let's try anyway, if it's by me, you could say. So yeah, from now on, you're the targets I'm shooting for, in a nice way, though. Let's hope it all works out. I, won't lie. I hope Kelly and Kelly are happy now that they're back with their father. I have to take a leaf out of your box to be more charitable, too. Yeah, well. Stay alert, everyone. In any case, it pays to be caught. I just wanted to make sure I had enough fly with flammy wings, and I do, so now I can. This is reckless behavior. Hmm. How about we have Hugo on with her? I'm sure she'd be better behaved then. Ah, uh, no. Anything but that. I know what you're thinking. In her own special way. Go easy on her. Time to roll up the old sleeve. Shall we get started? Wing booster. Phew. Finished. I can make a jamming megaphone, I guess why not? I need to make them all at one point anyway. I mean, for Hugo, I actually don't have to make them all in one go, but still. I don't have to make one of everything for the main characters, but I should make one of everything because it's part of the completion and therefore necessary. Because I want to get everything, so part of that is doing some boring things sometimes. Good. Yes. This should be good. Oh, I haven't got this yet, so it hasn't started counting yet. I was going to say zero. It's already open. Couldn't tell if the lid was open or not just by glancing. What's down here? Oh, that's up. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Hello. Your Highness, everyone, you have my thanks. The Gomati Special Envoy had safety. Now the conference can begin. I'm glad to hear it. These are the Xian troops in the Aegis. Not to mention the state of affairs in Moradain and Gormot. The rest seems to be heading for a period of unrest. We would like to hear your opinion on working together to overcome the hardships facing our two countries. It will be done, Your Majesty. And later? You can give us your impressions of immolation and honey that was so difficult to obtain. Honey, what's all this about? Uh...
Well done, Anne. Thanks to your efforts, Majesty. Our nation's ties with Gormont will grow stronger than ever. Also, is there any chance of getting more of that honey? Aww. Truly, I'm humbled so by your sweet. kindness. I shall strive henceforth to maintain positive relations between Gormont and Mordain. I swear it. Okay. Sweetest tidings. I think we've done it. Expected. You've helped Hal Jack in the Horvey wheel, and the talks can now begin. Well, here's the uh, Denny Nine Pie and the Gamati Republic reaching consensus. Now, how's that work out, boy? Right. Pentagon chip is just power. Above anything else, it's not crits, it's just stupid power. Like, very high power. I mean, unlike Mithra, Jin is not absolutely necessary and reliant on crits. By engine 36 auto attack is pretty pretty good. Mithra crits improve so much for her that she's it'd be stupid of me not to worry about it. More growing to do? Oh boy. Discover a secret area. Hello, are you alright? Good, thanks. Okay, and with that, I'm going to say see you later because we are basically done. We're going to move forward, and when we do this, we're going to finish the rest of the side quests we have to do, and then go forward with the game and go towards the tomb or the womb. See you then. Goodbye.